What's up, ghosts and ghouls? It's the one, the only, JT Ripper, and I'm here with... Todd of Thunder. And today we have a special guest with us, my godson, Zombie Zack. Say hey. Hey. He's going to join us on this uh, day 14 and talk about one of his favorite movies, Scooby-Doo from 2002. Yes, indeed. And uh, he's your godson, and I think he's my son. I'm not sure. He might be related to you. But, uh, yeah, 2002, uh, Scooby-Doo, this was the first, like, real big theatrical live-action Scooby-Doo that they ever did. They had uh, Freddie Prince Jr. playing Fred. They had yeah. um, Sarah Michelle Gellar playing Daphne. I forgot the uh, girl's name who played Velma, but she Linda does. Linda Carmite. Carmighty? Is that how you say it? Carmighty? I don't know. She she did. Uh, she's pretty good at doing it. Um. But, yeah, and, of course, we had Matthew Lillard playing um, Shaggy, the Shagster. The Shaggy. And, uh, yeah, Shaggy we had uh, old Mr. Bean himself uh, running the uh, the island here. Yeah. With he a couple the, of... Uh, he was your main bad guy, so to speak. Yeah, with a couple appearances from uh, bands like Sugar Ray and stuff. Yeah. Um, so they went all out for this movie. Yeah, so uh, what do you like about Scooby-Doo, Zach? Um, well, I like that they incorporated the Scary Island, because yeah. it was in Where Are You. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, it was in Where Are You. Yeah, and, um, you know, the gang, uh, if if I'm not mistaken, didn't they, like, break up in the beginning of the film? Yeah. Yeah, it was about and, them getting uh, back together. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the whole plot line... You'll find out who's behind it all, which ended up being old Scrappy Doo behind it all. Spoiler alert if you yeah. haven't seen it. He wanted to get them all together and um, basically uh, destroy all of them at one time because he had a grievance ag uh, against them because they kicked him out of his group because he was so freaking annoying. No, they kicked him out because he peed on Daphne. That's right. Well, yeah. that counts as being annoying. Well, if you peed on me, it would annoy me. Yeah, but he peed on Daphne and then he challenged Freddy. Oh, yeah. He was like, you ain't man enough for me. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Yeah. So he's, he was annoying and he was a fucking... Putz. He, he was a pup dick. <laughs> he's, a, he's a pup dick named Scrappy-Doo. But, yeah. Um, so, you, you've you grown up watching the cartoon. Um, How did you like the live action one? Um, I loved it. The only thing I don't love is Scrappy's a villain because he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, he's widely hated by a lot of people. He's he's not a fan favorite. Yeah, and I don't know why because you know in the uh, in the seventies and the eighties they pretty much relied on Scrappy Doo. I mean, hell, he, him and Scoob and Shaggy, right, were in their own. Yes. Yeah, the, what yeah. was it? The Scooby it's and Scrappy the, show. Yeah, and Scrappy the show. It has the most ever seasons ever, but it's the most hated one. That's crazy. It was yeah. the longest running yeah. episode. It was like I think seven seasons, maybe. It's like that's actual crazy. monsters. Yeah, and that's pretty. That's pretty much longer than any other Scooby Doo series didn't that they, they came uh, out they, with. Didn't they also change uh, Shaggy's shirt in that show? Like yeah, it was red. It, it was originally red. Then they changed it to green. Then they changed it to green. Okay. Yeah, I, I. I I don't know. I've never really hated Scrappy Doo. I mean, I thought he was kind of annoying a little bit, but I mean, never I think really that was hated his character. Him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's just an annoying little like brother cousin. And plus, it was it was pretty funny that you have you know big old Scooby Doo who's like a scaredy cat, and then you have little Scrappy who is the one. He's the fiery little yeah. fella. Yeah, and that's exactly how it is in real life because you you'll see some of these big dogs and they're big wusses, and you see a little Chihuahua and they want to bite your fucking toes off. Yeah, that's pretty much how Scrappy was. Yeah. Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> yeah, let me at him. But yeah, um, Matthew Lillard. Uh, after this role, that it pretty much he's been the voice of of Shaggy throughout yeah, for pretty that. much everything afterwards. After that, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about like direct to video movies, uh, yeah. all the series and everything. And you know, not only is he known for you know his Thirteen Ghosts and his Scream roles, but now a lot of people go up to him at conventions and want those scooby-doo autographs yeah you matter of fact you would you probably wouldn't get a scream autograph yeah, would you I'd probably get a mystery incorporated 
signed autograph. Yeah, I mean, it'd be hard for me not to get a, a scrappy, I mean, not scrappy, damn, <laughs> a shaggy autograph. I mean, he just, I mean, he pretty much has become that character. Yeah. It's a shame they never did a part three. I still think they could pull off a part three, like them being the older and like doing like a newer gang. Yeah. Which would be kind of cool, you know, like their kids, because let's be honest, they're, you know, they're not going to be, they're not going to pass as teenagers, obviously. Anymore. Yeah. I mean, they, or young adults. You know, they really didn't pass as teenagers in this movie either. Well, that's were, why I changed it to young adults. Yes. Yeah. But um, you know what? We didn't care because the performances that they put on, like, like, um, even though uh, Freddie Prince Jr.'s Fred is a little different than uh, Fred, uh, what's his name? Wink? Fred Welker. 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 Yeah. Who does the voices. Um, you get you kind of get engulfed in it, and they become. And you know what? Some people poo pooed on the Scooby Doo Two uh, Monsters Unleashed. Yeah. But I like that one as well. I thought that one was just as entertaining, not as entertaining as this one, but pretty good in my opinion. Yeah. Uh. W- so Zach, what would you recommend as a good animated Halloween? Um. What do you mean? Like the animated like movies. Oh, like um, which one would you recommend for them to watch if they didn't want to watch a live action? Happy one Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah, I personally haven't seen that. It's it uh, brings Elvira and Scarecrow into it. It's pretty good. Okay. Oh, that's the one with Elvira in it. Okay. It, yeah. Is she, does you she know, do the voice? Yeah, okay. she does her own voice, and um, you know. Being the one who buys him all these freaking movies. <laughs> um, of course, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of, I'll sit down and watch them with him. They're because, not bad. Well, I enjoy them as well. That's why, you know, if I didn't, I'd just be like, hey, take this in the other room and watch it. But I enjoy these movies as well. If I had to recommend an animated movie, my favorite would probably be Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King. That's pretty uh, good. Because it actually takes place on Halloween night, as does Happy Halloween, Scooby-Doo. Um, I would either recommend that or Franken... Uh, oh, yeah, the Franken-weenie. Uh, Franken-weenie. Franken-weenie. <laughs> um, it's Franken... Franken... Creepy. Is that it? Yeah, uh, Franken-creepy. Scooby-Doo yeah. and Franken-creepy. They put a... No, it's not that one. That's not what it's called. Yes, it is. It's it? Franken-creepy Scooby-Doo. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's like one of my favorite ones because they put a new twist on the old Frankenstein uh, story. It's called Scooby-Doo Franken Creepy. I was always a fan of Zombie Island. Yeah, Zombie Island. There's a lot of good ones. The Witch's Ghost. That has actually uh, Tim Curry in it. Uh, Tim Curry actually does two different voices. He does... uh, a voice in the witch's ghost and he does a voice in the goblin king so that's pretty cool it's that called frank and creepy told you but uh yeah there's so many if there's one uh franchise that makes these kind of like straight to dvd movies that are consistently entertaining and um you know it's the Scooby Doo series. I mean, it really is. I wouldn't recommend it if it was shit, but yeah. it's not. It's very entertaining. Now, some of the later ones, maybe they get a little twenty twenty three wokish. Uh, that I, you know, I don't care yeah. about. Well, and we won't We're even. Not gonna dive into. Yeah, that. we won't mention the the you know atrocity se- series. Yeah, that we're is, not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you can actually find a majority of the uh, things that we've talked about on Am- if you're subscribed to Amazon Prime and HBO has a lot of stuff and Tubi. Tubi has a lot of um, yeah. Scooby Doo right now. Now, as always with these movies this month, we are rating them. Are you familiar with the rating system? Uh, you should be. Yes. You're you like know. the only one that listens to this shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> one through one through five, mm-hmm. uh, you give it uh, a number of what you would give it. Um, so, since you're our guest, we'll uh, start off with you uh, on a scale from one to five. What would you give Scooby Doo on the 31 Days of Spooky Movies countdown? Um, I would probably give it 
Three Scooby Snacks. Three ah, Scooby Snacks. That's, that's clever. Nice. And uh, you know what? I was thinking that. I actually thought you was going to give it a four or okay. a five since you're a big fan, but I uh, I see you're looking at it with logic. Yeah, I'm 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 falling on three Scooby Snacks also. Three Scooby Stacks, which means this is Snacks, not Stacks. I said Snacks. You said Stacks. You said stacks. stacks. Stacks of Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Say that fast five times. But uh yeah, it's a goodie, man. It's one that you can watch for the whole family. And uh yeah, it's been a favorite of uh all of ours for a long long time and you know, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. I'm JT Ripper. And I'm Todd of Thunder. The Thunder. And Thunder? I'm Zombie Zach. And he's Zombie Zach. And we're saying toodaloo. And stay spooky.